Greetings Internet, this is Commander Musty. Today I'm going to take an opportunity to talk about my experiences of upgrading my FSD on a few ships up to level 5. I must admit up front that this was the first time I've ever used the engineers and I was confused by certain aspects of the whole process. Now that I've made my journey I can reflect back to the trip I made and I can make suggestions for people that are going to follow the same path that I did and do things a lot easier with greater understanding of how things are working in the process. During my time I made videos on each step that I made from the invitation and then the upgrades level 1 through to level 5. I will provide links in the description box below to reach them if you need to review them. So the first step in the process is to meet the invitation requirements for the engineer called Felicity Farcia. The key requirements are to be at least a scout in exploration and to donate one unit of meta alloy. There are two places that you can get meta alloy. If you are cashed up and have plenty of raw materials, we can simply purchase it. To purchase it, we need to head to a place called Maya. Once at Maya, we're looking to go to a planetary outpost called Daniel's Progress. Once you get to Daniel's Progress, you simply go to the commodities market and it should be sitting in there. I have heard reports of different people saying it's not there when they got there. I have been there a few times and it has been there each time. The second option is to go to a place called Marope, which is near Maya. The option that I took was to go to Marope 5C. This is the location of a barnacle. The barnacles have organic structures that allow you to mine to get raw materials and also allow you to farm meta-alloy. The key to the raw materials is that we're going to need them when we're going to do our upgrades at Farseer Inc. To mine the location, you simply target the organic structures and then shoot them with your scarab. Then gather up your raw materials. During this process, you'll gather raw materials and you'll get two units called mining fragments. These are your meta alloys. To reset the area, you can simply mode switch between solo, open and private. Once we've gathered all our raw materials and we have our unit of meta alloy, we need to head over to a system called Decket. On the Decket system map you'll notice the purple icon. Zoom in on the planet and you'll see the planetary landing Farseer Inc. Once we arrive at Farseer Inc we need to make our way over to the engineers workshop. Once at the workshop donate your one unit of meta alloy. Once we have donated, we now have access to Felicity Farseer. Initial access grants us modifications to certain pieces of equipment, engines, shield boosters, FSD and power plants. To increase our reputation with Felicity, we have two options. One is to craft modules, the other one is to give her data. To sell the data, we need to go to the Universal Cartographers, but you notice when we first go there, they don't exist. You must donate first, then you may need to log in and out to reset so that they show up. The key to this process is we're trying to get to level 5 as quick as possible. We do not need to do a level 1 upgrade to do a level 2. A level 2 to do a level 3, a level 3 to do a level 4, a level 4 to do a level 5. Let's look at our first increased FSD range requirement which is an atypical disrupted wake echo. The second level also requires a wake echo, a chemical processes and some prasod inium. In our third level requirement we need strange wake solutions. This level also requires something called modular terminals which is done by completing missions. In our fourth level requirement we need something called eccentric hyperspace trajectories. In our fifth level requirement we need data mined wake exceptions. Now the reason I'm pointing these out is these are all found from the same source. To find these you need to purchase a wake scanner. If you're in Decket go to Gare Terminal. Just need to simply sit outside the station and scan everyone's high energy FSD wakes. 
Each time you make a successful scan, you will end up with three units of encoded data. Continue to scan all the high energy FSD wakes outside Garay Terminal. Your end goal is to at least find 75 in total atypical wake echoes. Remember, each find gives you three. At least one find of eccentric hyperspace trajectories, which will give you three, and as many data mine wake exceptions you can find. These are level five, the more the merrier. This process should take no longer than one hour. Once you have achieved these figures, return back to Farseer Inc. At the beginning of my video, I stated that I could have done things a whole lot better at Felicity Farseer. However, I've gone to another engineer, Elvira Martuk, to demonstrate the process. The process will be exactly the same as Felicity Farseer. To gain reputation with the engineers, we need to modify our ship modules. Each upgrade comes with a list of requirements or a cost to carry out the mod. The engineer will use these items and then will show you the outcome. Each time you do this, you lose the items and you gain reputation. However, you do not need to apply the modification. To gain enough reputation to move from level 1 to level 2 with the engineers, we need to carry out three level 1 upgrades. Again, we don't need to actually apply the upgrade just spend the resources for three of them. After one modification we have gone up by 34%. Let's carry out the second modification. I'm doing shield banks, however you can do the longer range FSDs which will use the atypical wake echoes. After the second level one we are now sitting at 68%. Let's carry out the third modification. We have now reached level two access with the engineer. Let's revisit our requirements for level two. We need atypical disrupted wake echoes, which we now have, chemical processes, and praise odd inium. Praise odd inium is acquired by mining. This means you need to have a mining ship and you need to go mine an asteroid belt. Let me show you a faster way. Level 1 to level 2 required 3 level 1 upgrades. Level 2 to level 3, you will need approximately 12 level 1 upgrades. Once you have done your 12 level 1 modifications, you should now have level 3 grade access. Let's revisit increased FSD range level 3. My main concern on this level is the last requirement, modular terminals. The only way to get these is a reward for completing certain missions. And in my personal experience, these missions were few and far between. So remember that when I tell you the requirements for the next step. So the next step, believe it or not, is to do, yet again, level 1 upgrades. Each level 1 upgrade will earn us 2% on level 3 to reach level 4. So for those who have suddenly worked it out, that's 50 upgrades. There is also another option for us, and probably this is the best time to do it. And that is by cashing in data at the Universal Cartographers. On level 3, I cashed in one page, which was equivalent to 427k of data, which earned me 16%. This equates to 26k of exploration data, equaling 1% on level 3 reputation gain. I personally only used one page of exploration data, the rest of it I used level 1 upgrades to reach level 4. Let's revisit our first requirement in level 4 and level 5. Level 4 we need manganese and the first requirement in level 5 is arsenic. If you don't have these items already, both these items can be found in the Decayet system. I'm Decayet 4. You will need to have an SRV, do a planetary landing and mine the outcrops. However, I didn't need to do this process because I found plenty of this raw materials at the barnacle location. Let's revisit our level 4 requirement for the second item, chemical distilleries. And on level 5, our second item is chemical manipulators. To find chemical distilleries or chemical manipulators, I found the best way to find them was in the USS called Combat Aftermath. Another option is ship-to-ship -ship combat, 
and I found the best place to do this was in HR 3007. This has a low res site and I found best to target the Lacons, especially the T6, 7s and 9s. Let's revisit our upgrade requirements for level 4, especially the third line eccentric hyperspace trajectories. And our third level requirement on level 5 is data mined wake exceptions. If you have been following this process you would already have these items when we got our wake scanner out and looked for atypical wake exceptions. Let's now presume you have gathered all the micro resources. A level 4 commodity item is an energy grid assembly and this can be purchased at certain commodity markets. And the closest place to deck it is BD-15447 at the station Good Enterprise. You will need to purchase at least three energy grid assemblies. A level 5 commodity item is a magnetic emitter coil. The closest station to deck it to buy magnetic emitter coils is Nanditi at the station Hail Orbital. It's time to head out and go get the two commodity items. Once you have all these items, it's time to head back to Dekiat. Once I reached level 4, I went back to the Universal Cartographers. There I cashed in 261k of exploration data, which netted me a 2% increase. Now we have all the ingredients for the level 4 upgrade, let's apply it 3 times. After the third application, we have reached level 5. We are now free to apply a level 5 upgrade to any of our ships. If you need a greater understanding on how the roles work, have a look at my level 5 upgrade video which explains the role process. There will be a link in the description box below. Let's summarise the process. First step is to get Meta Alloy. We can do that by purchasing it or we can mine it at a barnacle site. The next step is to purchase a wake scanner and sit outside the station. Scan high energy wakes until you get all of your encoded data. The next step is to get the chemical distilleries and manipulators via USS or ship to ship combat. If you don't have three units of manganese or arsenic you will need to visit Decky at 4 and gather materials. You will need to visit two commodity markets to get the level 4 and level 5 commodity items. You will upgrade the engineer using level 1 upgrades until you reach level 4. Once at level 4 you will actually use the components for the level 4 upgrade 3 times to reach level 5. If you want to level up Elvera Martuk, the invitation item is Suntil Relics. Found in the system at Nurai at the space station Cheronovsky City. And as you saw in my demo the process is exactly the same. Well, that just about wraps it up. If you found this guide helpful, please press like and subscribe. Commander Musty signing out.